back to Reading the List, where we review, discuss, and reimagine popular movie lists objectively. We're your hosts, I'm Jerry. And I'm Brad. And on this episode, we'll be exploring number 22 from Sports Illustrated's The 50 Greatest Sports Movies of All Time. All right, number 22 is The Setup, released in 1949, directed by Robert Weiss, starring Robert Ryan and Audrey Totter. Over the Hill boxer Bill Stoker Thompson believes he can still win. His wife Julie pleads with him to quit, and his manager is so convinced he can't win, he takes money for a dive from the local gambling heavy. Unfortunately, he doesn't tell Stoker, who is unaware of what will happen if he defeats his up-and-coming opponent. I had a very big discovery when we were watching this movie. Mm -hmm. There are literally maybe two to three uplifting boxing movies. Boxing movies are really tragic and horrible and sad. <laughs> like every single one, except Rocky. Well, we haven't seen Creed yet. Okay. So we don't know what that one's about. All right. Um, Digstown is is pretty funny. It's not it's not uh, dark in any way, but yeah, for the most part. The other thing, well, the thing I've noticed about this list is this guy really like the whoever put this list together. I'm assuming it's a he based on. I'm sure the 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 content of it it feels like it's it's kind of male dominated. Um, like boxing a lot. Yeah, a lot of boxing movies. A lot of boxing this. movies. Not the last boxing movie. No, yeah. nope. This one, uh, it was really boring. It was a lot of a guy just roaming the streets, hurt. Or sad. His wife telling him. Well, it's more of her wandering the street than. than yeah, him. he's wandering the street. He's like, "How long are you gonna?" Do? You know, it's like to me. Okay, it's such a stupid female trope in these movies. Where the woman is always like, oh, don't do it because you're going to get hurt. It's like, duh, he's a boxer. I'm sure he was a boxer before you met him. Mm -hmm. So what's your deal? Yeah. You have to either be okay with it or get off the pot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so it gets old. It gets old to see the same female character well, in every movie. And it's not just that we're seeing. They, they always, like, we, we're always introduced to the story at the point where she makes that. Ultimatum. That ultimatum that you're talking like about. Like me or boxing. Right. You know? And. It doesn't end well, ladies. Like, they usually choose boxing mm -hmm. from what we've seen. They don't know anything else. That's all they can do. That's They only know how to use their hands to fight people. They don't yeah. have an education. They don't have, you know, yeah. they haven't done anything else. This is all they've known. Yeah, it, and to it, do something else, go into something completely different, is really scary for these guys. Yeah, I mean, this is not a occupation that tends to get people who are highly educated or who have other ways of, you know, making a living. I mean, a lot of these guys haven't never finished high school. I mean, even today, like a lot of these guys are not very well educated. I don't, I don't know enough to make that statement about it, and but just, I mean, they just, I mean, it's, it's an occupation where you just, you literally get the shit beat yeah, out of you constantly. It's dangerous. And it's not just the actual, you know, they're probably, most of these boxers are probably actually fighting in the ring maybe a half dozen to a dozen times a year, probably, probably, you know, not very often, but where you get the wear and tear is all of the training. Mm -hmm. You're sparring and you're getting hit. And it's just like, like a lot of these guys have CTE. A lot of them just are just absolute veggies. And, or even if they do make it, they've got, you know, all kinds of like physical ailments and stuff related to just, basically getting pummeled all of the time it's like it's just it's not as it's not a like it, it's not the kind of occupation where you're gonna have a a pension that's gonna yeah <laughs> last a long time and then like i've nicknamed this whole thing it's called boxer's wife syndrome okay okay so 
Um, copyright. You heard it here. Copyright it. It's Boxer's Wife Syndrome. Um, and she basically is like, yeah, yeah. Um, you either need to stop or I'm leaving. And then she's torn. She goes to maybe, she's like, okay, maybe I should get over myself and go to the mm -hmm. match. And then she's on her way to the match. And then she's like, forget it. And she walks away. Mm -hmm. And, you know. I will it, say I will say that this is one of the better portrayals of boxer's wife syndrome. I kind of <laughs> like it. Um, <laughs> I think it's one of the better portrayals of it because she really explains her reasoning behind it better than they do in most movies. Like that's true. Like she's like, you've been doing this so long and you just don't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. And I. I, I just want you to be around for us to have, you know, this future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she's just kind of at the point where she's like, it's gotten to the point where it's so dangerous that you're going to kill yourself mm -hmm. versus it always being dangerous. But whatever. And then he gets, he gets beat up, but he gets beat up because of the. Well, he, he's like his, his coach bet but, against him. Yeah. And he, it make he, he ba basically it's supposed to look like he's throwing the thing, but he's not. He has no idea. Yeah, his he doesn't know what his he's coach done. doesn't tell him. So he's uh -huh. out there trying to win, and he eventually he wins this fight mm -hmm. that he's not supposed to win, and this creates you know losses for the gambling guys, and he gets the shit beat out of him like to no fault of his own. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of a slow paced movie. There's not a lot of ring time. There isn't. And frankly, the boxing is terrible. Boxing is really bad. That's one thing. That's one thing I've noticed so far too, outside of a few, a few movies like Raging Bull and Raging Bull does it in a different way, but like the stuff that's like in Rocky, most of the boxing content is really doesn't look good. Yeah. So it's like I think the next movie we do it didn't look good either. Yeah, there's there's one that's actually a, a, a little bit up on the list at number twenty that we'll we'll be doing here soon. That the boxing in that movie is probably even worse. Yeah. In a lot of ways, but um, yeah, I gave this one a fifty eight. Jerry gave it a forty seven. List score is fifty two and a half. It's just okay. I, if it was so unrememberable. Unmemorable, oh, unremarkable, unremarkable. <laughs> that you know, after a couple days after we watched it, I was like, "Wait, what was that movie about?" I well, totally. We we were talking about these, and we we were trying to remember which one was which. Yes, that's how interchangeable these two movies kind of are. Yeah, the, I think the other movie was better. Yeah, we'll do, we'll be yeah. talking about that shortly. There's a there, there, it's only a, a couple ahead, so it's yeah. at number twenty. So we've got number twenty one, and then this that one we'll be mm -hmm. discussing. Yeah. Um. Anything else on the matter? No. Yeah, the characters were not very interesting to me. No. They were just kind of very flat. I have like zero interest in boxing, so for the most part, this kind of stuff doesn't gravitate towards me. I've never really like I've never really enjoyed boxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never really sat through, and I, I think I've sat through a boxing match, like watching like Olympic boxing, because it's mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. it, to me, it's a little bit more strategic, and they're trying to score points. Well, don't are they the ones that wear like the head? Yeah, the head um, padding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's would a, seem it, to me it would need to be more strategic. It, it's, it, well, it's about scoring. It's not like, mm -hmm. you know, like for the most part, yeah. like the stuff that you see yeah. like on TV or HBO or whatever, like pay-per-view or whatever, those are usually heavyweight fights. Mm -hmm. And that's really about, uh, quite honestly, heavyweight boxing is just about knocking guys out. Yeah, yeah. Um, the stuff that you're seeing like in the Olympics usually tends to be like the lower weights, like, you know, featherweights, bantam weights, stuff like that, where... You know, it's there. You you kind of get the skill factor of it, I guess. Okay. Um, but still, just not that interesting to me. Like, and I've never like gravitated towards that or MMA fighting or anything like that. I just really don't care to watch a fight. Yeah. Yeah. 
never never been it, my it, thing. Uh, it's got to be really like a really good story for me to be mm -hmm. like oh this was really good there's a movie i think we're watching on our side list that i really liked that was about boxing i mean besides the obvious you know um but the fighter with mm. christian bale that was really good it is on the side list um but yeah like this it just it felt very low budget too for the time well it felt like well like there's there's like two there's sets like, there's basically <laughs> like well there's three sets there's the the hotel room yeah and then there's the stuff on the street and then there's the stuff inside the ring yes yeah. It, yeah it did feel pretty low budget yeah so anyhow if you've seen this movie and you think we're completely wrong please let us know in the comments um if you would like to contact us directly please do so at gmail.com uh, rating the list at gmail.com um <laughs> just send it to gmail <laughs> it's totally gonna get the generic us. gmail account you know it. it'll, it'll make we'll see it we're kind of a point. big deal it'll make its way <laughs> um i think that's it for now i'm jerry I'm Brad. and we're rating the list we'll see you next time bye bye